Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Taurus. This is going to be for your February 2024. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Uh, we are going to take a look at the person that you're thinking of, dealing with. We're going to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, uh, look out for, uh, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Taurus people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, um, uh, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, and also my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, Taurus. Tell me about Taurus here. The person that Taurus is thinking of dealing with, uh, what, um, how, what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Taurus? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Taurus for February 2024? Sun and rising Venus signs for Taurus, for Taurus, for Taurus. I'm trying to position myself in a good spot, you guys. I don't know. Like that? Okay. All right. Taurus. With the page of wands here. I feel like all this person wants is like sexy time, friends with benefits and stuff like that. And I feel like this is leading to like fights and arguments here. You know, Taurus, I feel like one a situation is I, I feel like, I mean, you might not have a tendency to be like very jealous, but I feel like this person is making you jealous by behaving the way that they're behaving here. Okay. You're definitely looking for more. You're definitely not looking for a one night stand here. You're definitely not looking for friends of benefits. You're looking for something more. Okay. And I feel like this person is not giving you that. We have temperance here, Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius energy with temperance here. It could be dealing with a Sag, strong Sag energy. Uh, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You're turning your back on this person here. Because I feel like you love this person, but this person does not feel the same way as they, they do as you about them here. King of Cups, I, yeah, I feel like you're in love with this person here. And I feel like this person is not reciprocating their feelings like they are, uh, like you are with them. Um, let's see, uh, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Seven of Cups here and the uh, Hierophant. Yeah, you know, I feel, I feel like you choose yourself. I feel like you choose your self-respect. I feel like you choose your integrity here. And I just feel like you're going out there exploring other options. It's kind of like you're evening, evening, eve, evening the level playing field here. It's kind of like, okay, if this person's doing it, I'm going to do it too, you know? So what else do we have here for uh, Taurus? What else do we have for, for Taurus? What else do we have for, for Taurus? Tell me the Page of Wands here. Page of Wands and the Ace of Wands. This person's not looking anything looking for anything else but sex. Yeah, five of wands here and the ace of cups. Yeah, and I feel like you've fallen in love with this person, but this person is not giving that back to you. Perhaps, I mean, if you have left this person here, Taurus, uh, perhaps this person now is falling in love with you now that you have left them. The a temperance card and the ace of pentacles. Okay, yeah. It seems like they're looking for a new beginning here with you, Taurus. Yeah, it seems like as soon as you left them, they realized how they felt about you. Yeah, they realized how they felt about you. And I, I feel like at, uh, you wanted them before, but I feel like you're not quite sure if you want them now, especially the way that they behaved with you here, you know? So we have the two, uh, yeah, you're not trusting this person. You're not really feeling safe or secure with this person here. So I see you actually taking off. Yeah, taking off and just kind of doing your own thing here. Exploring other options, ending things with this person here with the world card here. The world card and the Hierophant and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you're totally ending things with this person here. I feel like you feel hurt and betrayed. I feel like it got you to a place where you didn't behave the way that you usually behave you know like the jealousy thing yeah so i, I just feel like you're you're, you're um, you were just acting in a way that you were not really happy with or proud of here what else do we have here for um taurus what else do we have here for taurus what else does taurus need to know look out for work on for february 2024 sun moon rising venus signs for taurus
So we have the Nine of Cups here and the Four of Cups. Yeah, what we have here is that Taurus, um, you're just stepping away from this. You know, you just want to be on your own here. If this person's apologizing to you, you're rejecting it here, okay? Um, you know, I just feel like you're just, you're just going to keep to yourself. You're protecting your cups here. Um, let's see what else we have here. This person's definitely filled with some sort of regret here. We have the Empress here and the Death card. Okay. I feel like one of the reasons why that this person's behaving this way is that this person experienced a loss in their family here. This person might have lost their mom or something like that, or their dad. It's no excuse for treating someone like that, uh, but you know, that could be one of the reasons why. We have the Seven of Pentacles here and the Knight of Wands here. This person's definitely gonna rush back in, trying to save this relationship here. Yeah, I, I feel like this person's definitely trying to figure out how to come back into your life here. Um, they don't like that things ended here. I, I feel like if, um, let's say if this person went through a loss here, maybe this person will go through a loss and this person will come back towards you and, and be, and you, you know, you're that kind of, that comfort blanket for them. Um, so with the Empress, Libra Taurus here, the Death card, the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, Aries, Little Sag, the Nine of Cups here, and the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have the uh, Queen of Wands, Aries, Little Sag. Okay. I feel like you're this king here. This Queen of Wands is this page here. I mean, it could be a situation that also, if no one here has experienced any loss or something like that of a family member, it could be an indication that this person is like leveling up, going from a page to a queen to an empress here. This person is going through some changes here. So I feel like this person is definitely making some big changes so that they could come back to you. I feel like this person wants to prove to you that they could do better, you know, uh, or, and show you the best version of themselves here. With the three of swords here, okay, and the, uh, and the empress here, okay. Someone here did experience some sort of loss or that they will experience some sort of loss here. Um, you know, you can apply this to your own timelines here, uh, Taurus. Tell me the death card here. Why is the death card here? Death. Six of Swords. Yeah, I actually see you moving away from this here. I mean, like I said, this could be one of the reasons why this person was behaving this way. Maybe they, there's like a... a there's like a termini... 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 Term Molly ill individual in this person's life here. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why this person didn't take things seriously here with you. The seven of pentacles here and the eight of pentacles. I feel like this person is willing to do whatever it takes to fix things here with you and to explain to you why they were behaving the way that were, the way that they were behaving here. But with the four swords here, I actually see you disengaging from this person here and not even giving this another shot, Taurus. I just feel like you're beyond hurt. Interesting. I really feel like this person had a lot going on in their family situation here, and I feel like this person never shared it with you, ever. Yeah, never ever shared it with you, but you guys definitely have a strong soul tie here, and it seems like they do want to come back around. It's a very interesting situation. A very Yeah, it's a very tough situation to be in because I do feel like this person definitely emotionally is going through some sort of loss here, okay? So, um, Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.